Ok, hola chicos y buenos días. Hola y buenos días. Uh, hoy en este video vamos a repasar las direcciones. Today in this video we are going to repasar las direcciones. We're going to review the directions for your guys' homework assignment tonight. This is the Gustar writing assignment and AR verb writing assignment. Um, please note that there is an example. I did the homework assignment. There is an example posted on my website. And remember, our new website is www.spanishwithshasta.weebly.com. www.spanishwithshasta.weebly.com. Okay, so there is uh, both a link to this video and... Um, a link to this instruction, uh, a copy of my example homework for you there. Okay, so let's talk about this worksheet and how to fill it out for yourself. So if we take a look here, we're going to zoom in on the worksheet. Everybody should have this worksheet in front of them right now. If you do not have a copy of the homework for tonight, you can choose any color you want. Please right now pause the video and everybody get the homework. Okay. So now that you guys all have a copy of the homework sheet, you will notice that what we have here is a mock Facebook page for you. And I know that you guys have told me that Facebook is for old people now, so there we go. Here we go. It's for the old people. Give it to your grandmother when you're done with it. Okay? So this is a little Facebook um, page, but you'll notice that this one is done in Spanish. I made it in Spanish. So we're going to start with the very first one. Que buscas en la vida? ¿Qué buscas en la vida? What are you searching for in life? What are you searching for in life? And so when you answer this, you're going to answer it in first person singular. Okay? Yo busco, I search for, yo busco, dot, dot, dot. And then you're going to list some things that you're searching for in life. I said I am searching for la paz, peace, la verdad, truth, and oportunidades de viajar, any opportunity to travel. That's what I search for, any opportunity to travel. Okay. Um, then the next thing that you see on your worksheet is mis gustos y preferencias, my, my likes and my preferences. And you can see that in Spanish, instead of saying like, the little emblem says me gusta, I like, me gusta. And I said that I like cultura and I like arquitectura and architecture. Okay. So, now, each one of these sentences is practicing gustar, okay? Each one of these sentences is practicing gustar. So, you'll notice that this first one says, Por la mañana, me gusta, dot, 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 dot. In the morning, I like, dot, dot, dot. You can go even closer. So, when I see this, notice that gusta is singular here. So, you have to put either an infinitive or one singular thing that you like, Okay? Now, I did two different infinitives. I said I like to tomar café. I like to take in coffee in mi cama, in my bed. I like to drink coffee in bed in the morning. También, I like to mirar, mirar, to look at or to watch mi jardín, my garden, por la ventana, through the ventana. Ventana, remember, was window. Ventana is window. Okay, por la tarde, me gusta. So in the afternoon, I like. Again, now you have to list something that you like to do in the afternoon. I said I like to enseñar las clases de español en el colegio chini. I like to teach classes of Spanish in chini high school. Okay, por la noche, at nighttime, what do you like? Me gusta, I said, hablar con mis amigos. To talk with my friends, y... Mirar, to watch Los Partidos de Baloncesto, to watch basketball games. And then I did like a little Go Duke thing here. Woo! Duke. A la Duke. Go Duke, go. Okay, down with UNC. <laughs> All right. Yes, I won. A mí no me gusta. Now, you have to give me something you do not like here. A mí no me gusta. And you have to give me two different infinitives that you don't like to do. A mí no me gusta bailar ni cantar. I don't like to dance or to sing. This ni means nor. Ni means nor. I don't like. So I said I don't like to cambiar las bombillas exteriores. I don't like to change the light bulbs outside. I really hate changing the outside light bulbs. Ni limpiar la ducha. Nor do I like to clean the shower. So again, you guys are going to use any two infinitives right here of things you don't like to do. Next one, no me gustan. 
No me gustan is plural, so you have to give me something plural you don't like. I don't like shrimp, so I put no me gustan los camarones. Search for anything you don't like that's plural. Next one, a mis amigos y yo. My friends and I. Now you have to change your IOP to nos because we're talking about my friends and I. My friends and I, we like to caminar in las montañas. We like to walk in the mountains, a.k.a. hike in the mountains. Next one, a mi familia y yo. To my family and I, it is enjoyable to dot, 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 dot. What is something you and your family like to do together? A mi familia y yo nos gusta nadar. I said we like to swim in el mar, in the ocean. Okay, elaborate as much as you're able to. Use your AR verbs from page 51 to help you. Okay, and last one, me gusta muchísimo. I love the, uh, very, very much, the movie. And now you're going to list any one movie that you like here. I said the book of life, which we are going to read, or we're going to watch that in Spanish this semester, hopefully. Okay, so I said, me gusta muchísimo. I like very much. La película, the movie, dot, dot, dot. And then you have to list only one movie that you like. Okay. Now, the next part that you're going to do is you have to describe yourself. How do you feel? You're going to describe at least three different feelings and por qué and why you feel them if you're able to. So you can see my examples here. Yo estoy contenta y tranquila. I'm happy and I'm tranquil because it's snowing here. I am uh, excited and nervous to travel to Olympia. I am overwhelmed because there's a lot of papers to correct. So you're going to do three different boxes with three different feelings in them. Okay? Now, the paragraph here is all completely explained on the rubric, which is on the back side of your guys' homework tonight. Please do take a look at this rubric. If you follow the rubric, every single person in here could get an A. Guys, go to the next page, please, the notes. Seven. Only have to copy down number seven. Um, please take a look at this rubric here to help you. So, K okay, buscas en la vida. What are you searching for in life? That one was one point. Eight different sentences, complete sentences using gustar. Remembering, you can only use gusta or gusta. You can only use gusta with a singular noun or an infinitive. And you can only use gustan before a plural noun. Okay, for each of the three boxes, you have to include a picture or a drawing to illustrate how you feel. And then you use your emojis and your adjectives to write it down. Then uh, you use the verb estar and an emotion for each box. And you must elaborate in each box to try to tell me how, why you feel the way you do. Then, this, your biography and Facebook. In that big box at the very, very bottom, where I had my big paragraph, at the very box at the very bottom where I had my paragraph, you guys are writing your biography in Facebook. And you must include at least four descriptive adjectives to describe your personality and four descriptive adjectives to describe your physical appearance. Again, we always use the verb ser, so both of these two are going to start with yo soy. You must... Hi, uh, use at least five different AR verbs in your description about yourself, telling me what you like to do or what you do. Don't forget to highlight the verbs in verde, the verbs you must highlight in green, and the adjectives, just like on our reading comprehension, you're going to highlight in yellow. Remember, verbs are actions, adjectives are describing words in yellow. You have to highlight the, the adjectives in yellow, the verbs in green. And then you must use at least one of the transitions hanging from my ceiling, or you can use one of the transitions here. Okay, my expectations for you guys, for tomorrow. I do expect, so you can go back on me. I do expect, she goes, I know this is a big homework assignment. I'm well aware of that, and I know this is going to be a challenging homework assignment because you actually have to write. So because of that, I expect the top sections to be done. If you don't get the box done, I'm okay with that. If you have to at least get the top sections done, but if you don't get the box done, that's okay. All right, uh, good luck. Please next hand out the quiz packets and then go ahead and play the quiz video. Adios, ciao.